A lot of people felt like you went on a hiatus. Is that true? Do you think it's fair? Yeah, I mean, the EP is out and I think it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's worth it. I just had to take that post because the expectations from people are crazy. They just want me to keep giving them that street banger. And I know that I have this, you know, so why not give you this and take that from you? You know, when you take something from someone first, it's like, hey, why are you taking this from me? Mm. <laughs> and then you give them something better. So, yeah, so, you so see that now. It, was it that you you felt like that wasn't a proper representation of who you are? The rapper, street, coin kind of personality? I wouldn't say it wasn't a proper representation because it was what I wanted to do okay. at that point. Okay. I wanted people to, I wanted to, you know, represent the street, the ghetto at that point. And that's what I did. And I, I believe I did it well. Oh, bro. <laughs> Thank what? you. <laughs> so it's time for us to, you know, bring it, make it calm and also make people understand that you can come from the street as they have since. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm just set that on triumph. Oh, I did? Yeah. Well, fantastic. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, but where are you from anyway? I'm from Mondo State. Wow. I grew up in Accra. But you grew up where? Lagos. Are you ever, what part of Mondo State anyway? Okay, Kukba. Ah, what's your son name? Akindeli. That's on kind of boring. I thought you were like Owa something. Ah, Akindeli is Owa. is quit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you, you were talking about coming from the streets. You don't seem like you are from the streets though. Amazingly. <laughs> um I wasn't born with silver spoon. Yeah. Yeah. But um Miss Kiss, let me just start with Miss Kiss, the artist, started from the streets. That's from Bariga, started recording, you know, in Bariga. And that was where Miss Kiss came all about. And that's why you have Miss Kiss doing all of that. But then, it's not like I was born in the middle of the streets, Ike, but I, I, from a background where we're not very rich, but we're okay. My dad was a pastor and my mom was a provision peasant. <laughs> So yeah, it was like a uh, that kind of family, but then I ain't that street. Eh? Oh, you, I'm not sure you ever ain't that street. Bro, for real? You ain't that street is me. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I really don't. I beg. But you got Bariga, right? Eh? Mm, not really. Music started in the Bariga. So you you used to live where where were you living at the time? I was born in the Cotton. Okay. Yeah and um spent some years hey god i beg i've never gone this deep i spent some years around Djibouti in between Uju and Yuri. yeah yeah and then um, bariga so you see it's like street street but then proper upbringing and education praise god are you the first child right now i am no oh, so sorry about that okay. um but let's get back to the music talking about miss kiss um you had, you said something the other time that a lot of people had expectations right. i found that a lot of fans think that they like change but they don't like members of the audience they mm. say oh my god this music has got so boring but the moment the artist changes it's a problem haven't you noticed uh i don't I don't know about that change then because for me i call it an upgrade mm. when you say change it's like everything is changed mm. if you listen to my ep i say i have that element of miss kiss who rise oh, in it happened. you get what i'm saying so and i mean it's been fantastic since the ep came out even the fans that i expected to be raz 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 they're like ah but they try you <laughs> <laughs> you get me so they're embracing it and that's that means you're thing. lucky though you're, you're part of like the the exception i would say the street fans are genuine fans mm. when mm. they like you they like mm. you as long as you're still giving them that a little bit when i go live on my instagram i'm always telling my people this is how this thing is going you know and even in my ep the first track ep um that's fame i talked about 
to the street people, don't do past yourself, rock mm. your panda, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Before you can afford Prada, that kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah, we're still the street thing, but on a more calm level. Yeah. Meanwhile, when it, were you under pressure when you felt like, well, I, I can't deal with this, this, these expectations anymore. I just need to leave people alone and take a break to recalibrate. Or was it just a sudden decision that then I'm out? Um, I'm never under pressure. Yeah. I'm always taking my time to do things. Even Seems all like my streets music, they actually take time because all those slangs, they're not bummy with you too. <laughs> Seems so natural. Like, it's, it feels, yeah. they always feel like things that you, you were doing without even thinking. Feels so, so that's why a lot of people might see you now and they can't reconcile that. It's How do they happen? Yeah. yeah, I get I get this every time. Um, I had a song I was promoting at, at I think last year mm. with Nini Olasko Patimana. Don't repeat what you said off camera. <laughs> I will box again. you. I'm gonna say it again. I don't like that song. I'm sorry. I don't. You don't believe my threat, bro? Don't be serious because I can't fight battle. Please, I can't fight. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but um. When I put out that song, right from I've been recording this EP since 2020. Yeah. Yeah, since 2020, since the pandemic of then, yeah. So um when the scope out money came, I just wanted to put something out for the fans, you know, while I'm recording what I want to record. And after I did that, in less than a month, it was already spreading in the streets. And I'm, I'm like, I just want to, you know, keep people yeah. busy new. Yeah. And then decided to move. And you know how fans want to consume music. Yeah. The next minute they're asking you, what's next, what's next? And I'm mm. like, no, that's, this is not what I want to do. Mm. Then I decided, okay, I'm going to stop the promo. I didn't even shoot the video. Mm. I just said, I'm going to stop this because you guys are going to keep demanding for this. And I know that I have something <laughs> better. Tell me. You feel me? So that was why I stopped oh, So it. you agree that the EP is better? I mean, it's an upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> you can't do anything about that. I got you right there. Right where I wanted you. Anyway, going back to these conversations, um, I think before then you had a dream, you had a dream bloody. Yeah, that was the song I was featured yeah, on. Yeah, you featured on that song. And I remember having a conversation with my friend, someone behind the camera mentioned Excel the other time. And when we heard a dream bloody, he was like, what is this be? Like, what happened? I mean, did your contract expire where you were at the time before you left? Oh, Jimmy Bloody. No, no, before after. Jimmy Bloody. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it did. And um, I just thought it was time for me to, you know, do my things because I wanted to learn more about the music business and, you know, understand better because why then it was just the label doing everything. I didn't know what was going on. So I decided that, okay, let me run this thing, let me know how this business is done because i was just doing music because i love music but now i want to do the business and that's why i said okay but it's time to move on mm. and now the ep is out hmm. i like the ep i think it's really good thank you you're welcome coming from you mm. i think it's really good. <laughs> um i'm not even people think I'm ha, like, no, no don't we no, no, talk no, about no, the that's people <laughs> that's not that's what you offer there are some things that i genuinely like and i like them I I'm glad you like that. I feel honored. Oh my God. I, <laughs> me too, I feel honored. <laughs> I like Joey, I think it was good. Thank Different you. personality. I like people, people with range. Now people like you can sing not, you don't understand. Like you can also do that. But people now know that you can sing about love, you can sing about heartbreak, you can sing about like your personal journey. Yeah. People can hear some of those things. And what I like about your voice is, I like people who can emote with their voice, with their vocal. Most people think they can't do it, but most people, a lot of them can't. You can, I don't know how, maybe you're in the choir at church, whatever. Um, you, there's a way, it's genuine anytime you're singing about things that are emotional. And I think that's the best part that I like about the EP. And for me, it's one thing that gives the, anybody can make anything that's pleasant to the ears. But if you can't do most properly, I'm trying to attempt emotional topics. Yeah. Little off, do you understand what I mean? So that's what I like about your EP. And you also spoke about like your exits and your um break in a way. Did you? Yeah, yeah, at some point on the EP. <laughs> I've 
had you know his ex. Hey, <laughs> go down <that> big. <laughs> he did. No, I didn't mention ex. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Hmm. Which song are you talking about? Because uh, what's that song? That song? Kill day, what's love? What's love? What's love? Yeah. Hmm. This song. You're not putting me in trouble in Jesus' name. <laughs> but you don't want to talk about the personal camera. You can't. No, no. I mean, yeah. Uh, I am this kind of artist that I I believe that I speak for the people. Me, I did not eat breakfast because I know a lot of people are thinking. Boy, but yeah, breakfast now. but yeah, yeah, I did not show breakfast. Oh, <laughs> it was just, you know, speaking from what I've heard, what I've seen. You know, I'm just expressing some some other people's emotions, how they were, and I I believe that at this time, this period, a lot of people are feeling that way right now because. Mm the feedback that i'm getting like oh that's my favorite song oh and the way they say like ah you know that song touched me i say hey so you can tell that okay it's like and, and another thing about what's love what i've noticed is people like vulnerability yeah people do yeah and you know women don't do that a lot sometimes they like want to form hard do you get what i'm saying like they don't say so much about i know some women do but not the today's women, the Gen Z women, <laughs> they would rather die. <laughs> One Gen Z is in the building though. laughing right now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, oh, it's, it's like a f uh, um, a breath of fresh air. Like, ah, so somebody is feeling pain. I think pain. All these people, they don't feel pain. <laughs> so it has that, you know, speaking is like I'm speaking the mind of a lot of women out there yeah. and i think that's why that's what makes what's love special mm. well you know what she just did i did not say anything you gave a very generalistic approach what's the thing that inspired I you so <laughs> Good, I'm big. I do. <laughs> yeah you know I, okay when I I heard, for you. i'm being honest <laughs> i did not lie <laughs> okay when i heard the beats there was a beat that you know drove me at first so mm. i heard the beats i'm like ah this one has that reggae, it has that Rihanna, a man down yeah, kind of feel, yeah. you know. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I I watched, okay, I don't want to do advert. I watched a particular movie that had to do with love. I know you're not satisfied with this answer, but I will tell you the truth. <laughs> because you're looking at me like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want to drag somebody's ex. <laughs> I am nobody's ex. <laughs> <laughs> So I was just, you know, talking about general something. Yeah. Would, you, would you put your personal relationship, if you're heartbroken, hypothetically, would you put it on record? Have or I ever tried to? Oh, uh, not relationship though. I think more of, you know, the things that I've been through. I think I take those things more to heart than even relationship. But women like you that don't like to stress, yeah, I'm nobody's ex. People see him are like usually the most <laughs> emotional side of people. It's a it's a common perception. Do you agree? Mm, in every raspy, there's this. You're not ras, though. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. I the music. The, the, <clears throat> You have not seen me in a bad situation. No? <laughs> <laughs> in a situation where you have to change it for them to understand the language. Fair enough. Fair uh, enough. Fair know, enough. Every Nigerian has that madness. Yeah, 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 I so I believe that in every tough person, like no matter how tough you are, there'll be that part of you that is soft. There's, there'll be one person that can get you. Mm. You get me? So that's it. There's that part of me that's sweet and calm. But you see the Miss King's Jaguru Jaguru is very protective of that, <laughs> yeah. of that one. So maybe that's why you probably just get in it. But don't go and try me now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's fine. But what, what are your expectations for this EP? What would you like people to, to feel? Or what would you like them to feel through your voice on this EP? I want them to feel very um, close to it. Mm. because the EP is very close to my heart mm. I put my whole heart in the music mm. from track one to the last track mm. you know so it has a different side of it it has the the fame talking about hustle mm. and all of that 
It has to kill a day about an insecure babe, about a relationship, which is not me, in case you're doing yourself I'm smiling again. <laughs> it has the far away where, you know, you brag about who you are. <laughs> you're already tagging me. <laughs> it has different. So it's that EP that speaks to you in every way. And I just want people to feel it. You know, I, I really hope, and I'm already getting the response, but I hope that it touches everyone that listens to it. What do you think you, the record, what record are, are you most likely to push the most from the ones that drop as part of the EP? Right now, we're pushing Kilo Day. Yeah. 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 I'm not someone that does. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Um, but let's go a little bit back. Word right since we have, we've had a conversation about the EP and it feels like do you do you agree that's a comeback so to speak? Yeah, yeah. You think that's fair? Yeah, I think that's fair because I I know I'm very real with myself and mm. I, I know I've been away for a minute. I know people call it century because I don't get it. I dropped song last year. <laughs> and you say you've been for years. <laughs> it's mostly because the entertainment industry is so fast paced. And I think people, my fans really miss me. Yeah, because there is nobody like that. Come back. Oh my God. <laughs> I'll never leave. <laughs> um, but were you, I know you must have been reading social media at the time that you were away. The things that people were saying, the questions, did they touch you that way? The, the doubts or where has she been? Um, she couldn't handle it. I don't know school like that, yeah? Mm -hmm. I don't know school like that. I always say the platform. Well, um, those things don't get to me. If you know me well, you know that I'm that kind of guy that you can be abusing the conversation, I'll be laughing, mm. I'm, I'm a vibe, you get me? So it, when I know what I want to do and what I am doing, no matter what people say, like I've heard rumors, I've heard a lot of stuff, and it doesn't get to me because I know that's not me. I know what I'm planning. You can say, oh, ah, look at what is happening to you right now. But I, I won't tell you that I'm traveling abroad. <laughs> and you are chopping life and you think I'm broke. You get So I'm that kind of guy that I would just be laid back. And no matter what people say, it doesn't get to me because I know what I'm doing. If I'm not doing anything, then I'll start to worry. Hmm. So what are you doing while you're away? Recording. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. I have been recording. I'll be honest with you. I have like a thousand songs. <laughs> And we have to be taken out this one, replaced with another one, take it out. At this point, I just said, let me just release the EP because we kept, it's like it's getting better every time I record. So we, we just kept taking out songs. So why not an album? I, I, I think that we, I should give them sweets yeah. before I give them a pack of chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> so, and accepting that I'm happy about that. How's your relationship with... Uh, meanwhile, why did people ever think you were signed to YBNL? What? People yeah. think that? Yeah. I'm just hearing this. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Maybe because of the rap. Maybe they, that's mm. that's what they expect. Mm. Yeah, I believe that's what they expect. Anyway, social media handles. Mm -hmm. Give them social media Official Miss Kiss, official MZKISS on Twitter and Instagram, and Miss Kiss on Facebook, Facebook page. Title of the EP. Title of the EP is Race to Part 2. Race to another level. No, I'm saying. <laughs> I can leave P now. Oh, that's it. Give ah, them more. My people. Hmm. Thank you. I know that I marketing came in. <laughs> you guys, my EP is out. The six tracks EP is titled Race to Part 2. And it's produced by the most fantastic producers in Nigeria. I'm telling you. And this EP is fantastic. It's from my heart to you. So you guys go out and stream the EP. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love me more. Morning. You're gonna fall in love with me. Can't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs>